Imagine a parasite so stealthy that it can grow inside of your body for many years, reaching lengths longer than a school bus, and remain unnoticed. Meet tapeworms. This is the last class of parasites I'd like to talk about, however, very important. In this video we will unravel the secrets of cystodes, how they invade us, how they thrive, multiply, and we will talk how to get rid of them and how to diagnose them and uh, about prevention. So let's get started. First representative of uh, tapeworms is beef tapeworm. It can reach uh, the length of 10 meters and in most cases it's asymptomatic. Humans eat undercooked beef and to get these um, parasites inside of their uh, guts they will grow in the small bowel and um, just uh, we need to share our food with them. Uh, they will grow there, they will live there for uh, 25 years they can live there and the adult worms uh, in our small gut will produce eggs that will be shed in stool. These eggs are uh, inside their sex called proglottids. You can see uh, above uh, they look like um, rice grain and you can often see them in your stool and these sex are full of parasite eggs. This will contaminate soil and water and cattle will uh, consume it and again cattle consumes eggs it's very important these eggs will hatch into larva larva will go into muscles they won't stay in the guts as opposed to humans because humans eat larva not eggs so uh, they will uh, infect um, cattle go into cattle muscles and stay there then a human will ingest undercooked undercooked meat of this cattle and uh, this encysted larva will hatch into the gut wall and grow into adult worms and stay there again. So the cycle is done. Again, in most cases it's asymptomatic, but it can cause some mild discomfort or abdominal pain, uh, hunger pain. Sometimes you can get some weight loss because uh, it uh, will eat your nutrients, but in general that's it. And single dose of Prezequantel is usually enough to get rid of it, because uh, the parasite will be paralyzed and uh, die. So, as you see, this parasite is not very scary, as opposed to the next one. It's a pork tapeworm. Everything is the same. It lives in human guts, it goes to the soil, these proglottids, um, the sex of, with eggs. Pigs will consume it, it will go to pigs' muscles, and then human will eat pork and get uh, insisted larvae. But there is one more way, this red one, you can see. Uh, if the human ingests eggs, not from pork, not from eating pork meat, but from dirty hands, from uh, dirty water, from some contaminated vegetables, contaminated with human poop, because it contains eggs. And then what happens? The same in the uh, that happens in the uh, pork uh, body. Uh, these uh, eggs will hatch into larva. Larva will not stay in the guts. They will go into organs. They can go into muscles, causing lumps under the skin. They can go into eyes, causing even blindness. Or they can go into brain, causing these cysts. And it's called neurocysticercosis. Very serious infection. It can cause seizures, headaches, and even coma and death. So, this parasite looks like previous one if we eat pork, but it looks totally different if we eat eggs from dirty hands or water. How do we diagnose these parasites? Stool exam for proglotids, sex with eggs. If it's a neurocystic sarcosis, we will do CT or MRI of the brain. How do we treat it? With Prezequantel for gut infection or albendazole plus uh, dexamethasone or other steroids if it's a neural infection. And even surgery may be needed. So you must cook pork thoroughly and uh, always wash your hands after the toilet or after working with the soil and always boil the water well. Next one is fish tapeworm. 
It can reach 15 meters length. It lives in human guts. Uh, the feces contaminate water. Uh, the cycle goes through these small crustaceans, then to fish, and then human. Uh, it stays in fish muscles, and then human consumes uh, undercooked fish. And again, it will live in human guts. It can be asymptomatic, or um, the thing is, it loves vitamin B12, and it can uh, consume it from your food. And uh, so, person may be deficient in B12 because everything is eaten by this worm. That means a uh, human can have some uh, not only uh, gut symptoms, but also symptoms from uh, anemia, uh, because vitamin B12 is needed to produce uh, red blood cells, hemoglobin, fatigue, weakness, and uh, it can cause some neurological problems, because B12 is important for um, neural system. Um, for example, causing numbness of the fingers. Again, treatment is a single dose praziquantel, diagnosis with search for the parasite in uh, stool, prevention, avoid undercooked fish, sushi, smoked fish, and uh, it loves some uh, cold uh, water regions like Russia, North America, Japan, Scandinavia, Baltic region. And next one is very scary parasite. It's small, it's up to six millimeters. You can see here the dogs. The dogs shed eggs into feces. Uh, feces will contaminate soil, water or uh, fur. Then we touch dogs or clean after the dogs and uh, or touch or play or work with the soil. And if we don't wash our hands, uh, we can ingest the eggs again. Eggs, eggs are dangerous if we ingest, ingest the eggs of these tapeworms. And this parasite will go into liver and form cysts. Most common is this Echinococcus granulosus. It causes liver cysts in 70% of cases. Uh, they may be asymptomatic or uh, they can cause some abdominal pain, jaundice, nausea. Uh, in 20% it can affect lungs and sometimes brain. The danger is when cyst ruptures, it contains uh, live parasite and uh, it will be spilled into the blood or into the abdominal cavity and cause massive allergic reaction up to anaphylactic shock up to death. And to treat the cysts, we do puncture, we um, aspirate it, then we put something to kill parasites like uh, hypertonic saline, uh, the salt solution. Uh, we can um, inject the uh, ethanol there, to kill parasite and the spirit again. Or we can do surgery if it's uh, uh, very huge. The other type is even more dangerous. It's called Echinococcus multilocularis. Difficult names. Mostly the source are wild animals like foxes. Uh, dog can also ingest it if it uh, eats, for example, the rat. And then human can get it also. And it's called parasitic cancer. Why? Uh, first of all, it um, produces a lot of cysts like honeycomb, and uh, this stuff can metastasize like cancer. If it's an early stage, we can try to remove it. If it's a late stage, unfortunately, the person needs to take uh, albendazole for years or even lifelong to uh, prevent uh, the spread of this parasite. That's why deworm your pets, use gloves if you work with water, with the soil or clean after your pets. Always wash your hands and do not feed uh, raw animals, raw meat uh, to your animals, to your pets. This one is uh, uh, the dwarf tapeworm. Uh, it's more about uh, tropical areas. With poor sanitation you can um, get it from dirty hands, uh, contaminated water or soil. Often it is asymptomatic, it's small, but it can cause also some abdominal uh, pain or discomfort or diarrhea. And the uh, praziquantel is the treatment of choice. One more is pyrometra. It causes pargenosis. You can, uh, how you get it? You drink uh, dirty water or eating raw frogs, snakes. Uh, for example, if you go to some tropical um, area for your vacation and decide to eat the local undercooked snake or frog. It causes painful lumps under the skin or eye infections that even can cause blindness. 
uh, treatment is surgical and uh, medicines if surgery is is not possible uh, always boil water well uh, cook meat well avoid folk medicines folk remedies like you know the local healers can put uh, the frog on your eyes to heal you so this can cause blindness okay that's all about tapeworms now diagnosis uh, you understood already if it's intestinal uh, then uh, just uh, check feces for proglotids for sex with eggs if it's uh, uh, going from intestines uh, for example it's uh, uh, echinococcus or pork uh, tapeworm that goes into the brain neurocystic sarcosis you can um, do blood tests or you can do ct mri or ultrasound the antibody check for echinococcus and uh, tenia solium or pork tapeworm are available if we talk about treatment for intestinal mostly it's presequential if it goes to the brain or if it's echinococcus usually it can be some surgical or this aspiration that i told you before or it can be albendazole to kill larva and prevention always cook your food very well always wash your hands deworm your pets and veterinary meat inspection is also important Dear friends, thank you for your time, thank you for watching these videos, and uh, thanks for supporting this channel. I wish you good luck, God bless you, goodbye. Don't be